Guys, we're back. Another episode. We're pulling clutches. We're doing snakes, lizards, the whole thing. Like the video. Yeah. Make sure you guys also subscribe to help us out. So stay tuned. Share it with your mom. So we have this whole rack. These are all of our skinks with the green tags. Um, and we're putting them up on Morph Market because they're all doing really well. And so they're going to be ready now. So if you guys are interested, message us. If not, message us anyway. Let us know because that's fun. Um, <laughs> also, make sure you guys check out Herp House Rock. We have some awesome interviews going on. And uh, Warren Booth was just on, I think, when this posts. So fun, man. So obviously we're here back in the, I don't know, I don't want to call it the den. I don't want to call it the HQ. Like all these people already call it the things lab. The thing. Dark Science calls it the lab. Okay, we can call it R and B Reptiles Commons. We're in the Commons. Dude, I just name stuff, right, man? I'm really good at it. We're back in the Commons. <laughs> back in the Underdark. No. <laughs> Any D and D fans out there? Hmm. All right, guys, pulling a clutch. This lady just laid for us. It's very exciting, actually. This is going to be cool. Stop going down, then up, Linda. You love it. Look how flat she is. She's so flat. She's so flat. Uh, like a pancake. So this is a uh, Anchi butter. Very pretty. We paired her with our pastel Lori Hidden Gene Woma. So this clutch could produce pastel. Lori. Pastel Lori Soul Suckers. Pastel Lori and she Soul Suckers. Past no, it's not. Wait, yeah. This, yes. It's got the other. I was thinking of the other one. Sorry. This clutch can produce Pastel and she Lori Soul Suckers. So that'd be neat. What's funny about this clutch is. Wow, look at that. That's a nice clutch. What's funny about this clutch is that we didn't see her lock. <laughs> Our, I need to get this. Hold on. There we go. Man, look at how empty she is. So our male did this on the sly. I guess I'll just hold her. Well, I can just. I guess we'll, I'll just do this. Just put her in with another male. Just bin. kidding. That's been empty. Empty bin. <laughs> empty bin. I can do it like two, four, six. I really thought there was going to be nine eggs in there. Veins, 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 veins. We're going to keep these guys play where they lie. I don't want to tear them apart and flip them upside down. The embryos will reattach in, in all this jazz in theory. As long as you do it close to when they lay. I just want to leave them like this. I don't know. You think I should roll that one? It's upside down. Is it attached? This one. It's, it's attached the to the other ones. Are down there? Yeah. No. They're all fused together. No, that's where. I thought you just said you weren't gonna do it. Weird. I feel pressure from you. I was agreeing with you're you. You're staring at me, and you're giving me those that look. You're like, if you screw this one up, Ryan. That's it. I'm not talking to you anymore. Do not say that. <laughs> this is easier if you can turn the lights off, but these lights are on a timer on a switch behind all of this, and it's very difficult <laughs> to turn it off. So. Hey, Ryan. Yep. What are you doing back there? Same thing we do every day. Oh, you're candling an egg. I thought you were peeing in the corner. I can see the, the air bubble with the embryo on top now. It's right where it was before. Just kidding. See, this was on the bottom. This is where the dirt is. I know, it's better than poop, huh? Um, update on the poop egg clutch. That one boob egg died. 
Smelled terrible. Yeah, the boo bag. It had very little veins in it to begin with anyway, but we were hopeful. So make sure this thing can't roll. We like using spoons. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. All right, man. So just to show you the mail that was involved, this is the pastel Lori Hidden Gene Woma we produced. What was it, two years ago? Something like that. He's never been a great eater. Like, he's super small still. He should be way bigger. Um, doesn't look unhealthy. Like, you know, he's not concaved. You can't really see his spine. So I think he's fine. We put him in with females to see if it would spark his interest in eating. No, but apparently he wants to breed, so hold still. Jeez Louise, he's a runner. <laughs> Did you, you see that mess? He's like, nope, parkour. I'm out of here. Just curious how much he does weigh. Oh, he's 600 grams. So, very pretty. I think Hidden Gene Woman and Lori work very well together. Ben disagrees, but. No, I think they work really well together. What's the word for that, Ryan? Epistasis. Epistasis. It's an epistatic relationship, in my opinion. <laughs> Do you want to tell people what that Ooh, means? That. <laughs> <laughs> it just means two genes that interact well with one another, I think, the layman's terms. There's a whole big genetic definition, and I'm not that smart, so... But just ask Kevin McCurley. He knows all about epistasis. Mm -hmm. So very pretty. Keeps a nice silver look. Elongated uh, alien heads. Raises up this popcorn off the belly. Has cool head markings. The dorsal has all these islands. Not unlike the Arroyo. Hey. So I think it'll be cool. And I don't think anybody's ever done it. So possible world's first in the incubator. Pastel Enchi Lori Soul Suckers. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna cut in real quick and show you my project for the day. I'm going to sex our tarantulas. I'm not an expert at it, but I, uh, I watched a YouTube video, so uh, maybe I'm an expert on TV. So what we're looking for is you take one of the molts and hopefully you get one that's kind of bigger. So you take a molt and usually they dry out and then you fill up a little bit of container of water and a couple drops of soap. And what the soap does is it allows the tarantula to sink in. If not, the water just makes it so that they float and they don't really absorb any of the water. Uh, the, the soap actually helps to, for them to absorb the water. After you let them soak for about 15 minutes, then you can pull them out and they're pretty pliable. So once you get it spread out, and uh, what you wanna do is open up the abdomen area here, make it spread out real well. And these are the lungs. And right between the front two lungs is what we're looking for. So I will show you what that looks like, a close-up, but the camera is not uh, the greatest, but it's okay. So for males, um, there's just some skin here, and it doesn't have any openings, but you can tell that there's something there. With the females, what you're looking for is this little flap. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So this little flap here. So what you're looking for is this little flap. And you can see when I do that, that you can tell there's an opening there. And I believe it's called the spermata. And uh, maybe people will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that's what you're looking for for a female. So I'm no expert, but that's what I'm doing today. Thanks guys.
So I have the Hyperion. This is what we thought was a world first, but um, when we produced her, and actually somebody produced uh, this combination like a few months before us, unfortunately. So, which was fine. I mean, still, it's a really cool combination. So this is a Superfly Calico, so Super Pastel Fire Calico. And she has been just crazy. When she was born, she had very little um, Almost white. specks on her at all. And now she's like got some yellowing going on. And every time she sheds, she gets speckling across her dorsal, which is just really cool. I think it's fun. I mean, it's not uh, anything crazy, but um, it if, looks cool. If you look at other Hyperions, they do not look like hers. So she's got something a little special going on with her but yeah. we, with our calico stuff especially with the mixing with hidden gene woma and super pastel and stuff like that we noticed a lot of fading that we normally wouldn't get yeah so even with some of her sisters that we held back which are super pastel calico fire hidden gene womas we showed you that and i think the last video the dorsal is almost completely washed out the sides are all washed out mm -hmm. and it's not really typical what you see with that combination so yeah so she's a big girl she's produced for us a couple times uh she is pairing right now to do we know what she's pairing to so jalopy so this is jalopy so uh again good luck calling any of the babies coming out of this girl um so can you imagine getting enchi orange dream leopard all that crap in there yellow, yellow belly, belly genex pasta pied um yeah that'd be fun <laughs> anyway so thank you guys so much she's gonna take us out um thank you for watching and make sure you guys please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also go check out her house rock it's uh, our podcast channel it's doing really well and uh we have lots of fun people on there so thank you so much again and we'll see you on the next video We're back, Jack. Back with R and B reptiles. You don't like that one? Um, is this the intro? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you know what time it is? Intro time. Is where I can't feel anything. Arms on fire. Is it a lot? Is it a little? All right. NSF. Actually, she is for sale. <clears throat> anyway. Don't listen to a mercy. Oh, uh, mercy. Okay. I need that. No, I don't need the water. <laughs> I don't need the water. <laughs> so you're going to water them? Just going to water them real quick. That's how they grow. I definitely turned the camera Two, away. four, six, seven. Parthenogenesis, parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis. It's where the female reproduces herself. Asexually. Oh, we're doing this right now? This is the talk? I know I know what it is. Are you talking to me or the camera? Talking about asexuality here, Ben. You do have asexuality. I don't know what that is, but it is yours. There is isn't be sexuality. Just be yourself. Where's my marker? Oh, behind you. Behind, behind. That wasn't weird at all.